Do you sometimes think that your angels have abandoned you? They have not. We are going to talk about five ways you know your angels are working with you. Coming in at number five, you are blocked. Doesn't matter what you want to do or whatever direction you try to go, it seems like there's always something in the way. Now, to be clear, angels don't interfere with your free will choices. However, if they know that you are going to be going down the wrong path, if you are going to be harmed in some way, often they will put little obstacles in your way. Why is that? Well, it's our fault. We are stubborn. <laughs> and so we often aren't listening to all the gentle guidance that came before. And so sometimes something a little more drastic has to happen. One example, I was supposed to be going downtown one time when I first moved to Colorado Springs and for whatever reason, I could not get my GPS to work. Did not matter what I did. I was getting so frustrated and they found out later that quite literally my life could have been saved by that GPS not working. I uh, definitely didn't need to be downtown at that moment. So if you, for example, let's say you're in a career path and it just seems like no matter how hard you're working, you're not making it. A lot of times humans get triggered into sort of a life crisis moment, but what it does is it makes you stop and reevaluate and get real with yourself. All right. So they're blocking us sometimes and it's for our own good. Coming in at number four, gentle tugs. That's what I call them. <laughs> but you ever have the urge to go into that restaurant or to go do take care of this, go do this thing or that thing or whatever, and you don't know why. And then you maybe end up meeting somebody that you were supposed to meet. Or again, it kind of goes in with number five where it kept you from something else. If you feel an urge and you don't know why, you just feel sort of in your body like I should go that direction, follow it. It's your angels trying to guide you. Remember, they are part of your spiritual team. They are here to help you accomplish everything that your soul is here to accomplish. So if you feel what I keep calling the gentle tug, that gut instinct, I should do that. Maybe let me go in this direction. Listen to it. Coming in at number three, we have angel signs. Now I'll be making a whole other video on how angels talk to us, but we'll touch on this here as well. Angels will often leave things, we, we all know about feathers, right? Uh, there's this old saying of pennies from heaven. Some people really believe in that. But angels will leave us signs of repeating numbers. I have a whole video on that. I will attach it here in case you want to check it out. They will also leave rose petals. Now, this is something that people don't really discuss all that much. But if you suddenly smell roses and there are no roses around, or you actually see rose petals, that is a sign of blessings from your angels. And usually it is to comfort you and to allow you to have that moment of peace and just let you know to relax into whatever's happening, <laughs> you know, whatever's going on in your life. Same kind of thing with the white feather. It's confirmation that we're here with you. We have not left you. All right. So if you see something like that, breathe that in, take a moment, really pay attention to what you were thinking about in that moment. Were you worried about something? Same idea with the repeating numbers. You know, I know there are times that I'm thinking, oh gosh, should I be doing this? You know, really questioning my life kind of thing. And then I see 777 and I stop and I go, what was I just thinking about? And I feel like, no, I am on the right path. I am doing what I am supposed to do. You'll often see people on TV talking about, oh, I saw an angel in the sky. I saw <laughs> the clouds. You know, a lot of times I think angels will appear to people briefly. Your mind is going to see what it wants to see. But often, you know, sometimes they are trying to communicate with you in that way by making their appearance known through posters. I've had that happen um, or seeing uh, an archangel's name pop up. These are the ways that the angels are just in the archangels. They're just trying to let you know we are still here and we're trying to help. Coming in at number two, a sense of peace. Often when we are spiraling and we're getting up into our intellect too much, we're losing connection with the rest of our being. 
a lot of times you'll feel, if you just pay attention, you will feel a warm presence come around you. And yes, that is the presence of your angels. And uh, if you really allow it to happen, a lot of times people are kind of skeptical and they're like, oh, that, I don't know what that is. I just felt like this weird presence around me. If it makes you feel spooked out, that's not an angel, okay? <laughs> an angel comes to bring you peace. They come to bring you comfort. I remember when I was a child, I would have that happen often where I would be scared at night and uh, I, I would suddenly feel like this warm presence around me. Some people like to think of angels as having wings and wrapping their wings around you. But notice when you suddenly feel calm in the middle of chaos, that often is the presence of your angels. And finally coming in at number one, synchronistic flow. Stuff is just happening. You, you, you get one thing going, then another good thing comes on in. And when it rains, it pours kind of energy. When you are in a synchronistic flow and it feels like solutions are just popping up. Yes, people often say, well, my prayers have been answered. But really what this is, is that you have hooked into that fifth dimensional energy of your guardian angels. And they're showing you what's possible. They're trying to help you stay in that alignment so that you can enjoy your human existence, which can be a little challenging sometimes. Again, this is not meant for you to do any sort of sidestepping, to, to scapegoat the angels. That's not what they're made for, okay? <laughs> but when you're in that synchronistic flow, a lot of clarity comes from that as well because we were talking at number five where you might be blocked from one thing. Well, maybe you started going into a different direction and now they're showing you, see how easily this goes? right? And you start to feel that your own energy is shifting. These are clear ways that you know the angels are in fact working with you and they have not abandoned you. I hope this was helpful guys. I'm sending you so much love and take care.